Inside the $2.4 billion Shanghai Tower Soaring 632 meters above the financial heart of China, Shanghai Tower is the second tallest building under the sun. The striking structure features incredibly fast elevators, is home to our planet's highest observation deck, and claims to be the world's most sustainable skyscraper. Open to the public in 2016, the $2.4 billion Shanghai Tower is one of the world's most impressive architectural marvels. Rising above the city's financial district, it represents a green future for China. A tower so tall, you can only see the top on a clear day. The Shanghai Tower is known for its height, but that is just the beginning of the story. So, join us today as we take you on a trip inside this impossible $2.4 billion structure. Before diving into details, make sure to subscribe to TechWave and don't forget to hit the bell icon so you never miss out on any videos. The skyscraper, designed by Gensler and built by Shanghai Tower Construction and Development, cost an estimated $2.4 billion to construct. Still, the Shanghai Tower is notable for more than just its towering height or big price tag. It represents the epitome of modern design, architecture, and real estate. As the third tower in the trio of signature skyscrapers at the heart of Shanghai's new Lujiazue Finance and Trade Zone, Shanghai Tower embodies a new prototype for tall buildings. Placed close to Jin Mao Tower and Shanghai World Financial Center, the new tower rises high above the skyline, with its curved facade and spiraling form symbolizing the dynamic emergence of modern China. The Shanghai Tower stands 632 meters high, with 128 stories. It was completed in 2015 and officially opened to the public in 2016. The tower is the world's second tallest building and can accommodate up to 16,000 people in a day. The structure is made up of nine cylindrical buildings stacked on top of each other. A total of 127 floors are encased by the inner layer of the glass facade. Between the inner and outer layers, which twists by 120 degrees as it rises, there are nine indoor zones. Each of the nine indoor zones contains public space for visitors and has panoramic views of the city with its own gardens, cafes and shops. More than a landmark, the mixed-use tower offers a sustainable way of living in a vertical city. With a unique mix of restaurants, shops, offices, and hotels spaced throughout the building, the Sky Lobby functions much like traditional town plazas and squares, bringing people together throughout the day. These civic spaces recall the city's historic open courtyards, which merge interiors with exteriors in a landscape setting. The main idea behind Gensler's design was that the tower provided an alternative to parks spread horizontally across the city. Instead, gathering spaces are stacked vertically, with sky lobbies separating the different zones design, created by naturally lit plant-filled atriums which conform to the social environments of town plazas and courtyards. To combat Shanghai's common typhoon force winds, the tower was designed to have an asymmetrical form, a tapered profile and rounded corners. After wind tunnel testing, the tower form was refined, which led to a 24% reduction in structural wind loading compared to a rectangular building of comparable height. This reduced the number of construction materials needed. The Shanghai Tower used 25% less structural steel than a conventional design of a similar height. As a result, the building's constructors saved an estimated $58 million in material costs. Moreover, to prevent the building from swaying in heavy winds, workers used a crane to stack steel plates and build a 1,200-ton tuned mass damper near the top of the tower. The damper is computerized and surrounded by pistons, which push it towards strong winds to counterbalance its force. 
Without a damper, the top of the building could sway as much as 5 feet during typhoons, says Daniel Winey, Gensler's managing principal for the Asia-Pacific region. The unique building shape required more than 20,000 curtain wall panels, with more than 7,000 different shapes. The fabrication of so many individual components would have been unfeasibly complex and costly using traditional computer-aided design tools. Still, with parametric software and laser measuring technology, a mass customization process was possible. The tower is built on a 6-meter deep matte foundation that was poured with 61,000 cubic meters of concrete during a continuous 63-hour pour. A strong concrete core and super steel columns support the tower, while branches extend out at the base of each zone, marking the division of the building into nine cylindrical sections. The transparent second skin that wraps the entire building allows maximum daylight while acting as an insulating blanket to conserve energy. This warms up the cool external air in winter and dissipates heat from the interior in summer. The double curtain wall is suspended on massive cantilevered trusses and made stable by the use of hoop rings and struts. The Shanghai Tower incorporates numerous green architecture elements. Its owners received certifications from the China Green Building Committee and the U.S. Green Building Council for the building's sustainable design. In 2013, a Gensler spokesman described the tower as the greenest super-high-rise building on Earth at this point in time. The building is designed to capture rainwater for internal use and recycle a portion of its wastewater. Construction practices were also sustainable. Though the majority of the tower's energy will be provided by conventional power systems, 270 vertical axis wind turbines located in the facade and near the top of the tower are capable of generating up to 350,000 kilowatt hours of supplementary electricity per year and are expected to provide 10% of the building's electrical needs. The double-layered insulating glass facade was designed to reduce the need for indoor air conditioning and is composed of advanced reinforced glass with a high tolerance for temperature variations. In addition, the building's heating and cooling systems use geothermal energy sources. Furthermore, rain and wastewater are recycled to flush toilets and irrigate the tower's green spaces. The Shanghai Tower has nabbed three world records for its elevators. The second tallest building in the world is officially home to the world's fastest elevator, the tallest elevator in a building, and the fastest double-deck elevator. The Shanghai Tower is already known worldwide for currently being the tallest twisting tower in the world and the second tallest building in the world overall. Now, it also has the distinction of adding three newly awarded Guinness World Records to its resume. Shanghai Tower officially has the world's fastest elevator, the tallest elevator in a building, and fastest double-deck elevator. Shanghai Tower's elevators were designed by Mitsubishi Electric and just barely outpaced elevators designed by Hitachi in the Guangzhou CTF Finance Center, which can reach speeds of 20 meters per second or 44.7 miles per hour. The fastest elevator in Shanghai Tower can reach speeds of 20.5 meters per second or 45.8 miles per hour. However, to achieve these speeds, a Mitsubishi technician needs to be on hand to press the proverbial red button and send the elevator into hyperdrive. Without the technician, most people experience an elevator ride that only reaches 40 miles per hour in Shanghai Tower. While elevators may continue to reach higher and higher speeds, at least one elevator engineer believes a speed of about 24 meters per second or 53.6 miles per hour is the limit. According to CNN, the people in an elevator traveling faster than 24 meters per second would not have time to adjust to the air pressure on the top floor. The entire building would need to be pressurized like an airplane to be able to achieve higher speeds. J Hotel, found within the Shanghai Tower, has reached a new milestone of success among China's homegrown hotels as it occupies the highest point in Shanghai, 
J Hotel weaves together broad influences from different realms of art and culture to bring a unique luxury perspective to Shanghai. It merges artistic touches throughout its design for palatial staterooms and the best in lifestyle, well-being, food and beverage, technology, and hospitality services, presenting an exclusive travel experience crafted with an authentic Chinese flair. J Hotel boasts 165 rooms, including 34 suites. The staterooms and suites are located from floors 86 to 98, and vary from 61 square meters to 380 square meters, making them some of the Shanghai's highest and most spacious options. Nestled into the Shanghai Tower spiral, every stateroom has unique views. Beginning at the Huangpu River and cutting through the heart of the city below, guests have access to Shanghai's diverse and spectacular urban scenery, from the Bund and the Oriental Pearl Tower to the expanses across Bushi and Pudong. The hotel also features seven distinctive restaurants and bars that offer the art of fine dining in the clouds. These include Heavenly Jin, which is one of the world's highest restaurants, Kinju Inaka for a serene Japanese experience, Jin Yan for the best of Chinese cuisine, Cento Uno for Italian and Mediterranean cuisine, What's more, each establishment has its own unique design and artistic decor, welcoming guests to enjoy spectacular views of Shanghai while feasting on diverse cuisines, fine wines, and imaginative cocktails. Visit the Shanghai Tower and you'll have an experience beyond imagination. That's pretty much it for the video. Hope you enjoyed it. Just be sure to like and subscribe to our channel, TechWave, for more of our awesome content. We value your feedback. Feel free to share your thoughts with us in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next one.